Today, after meeting the President of the Republic, Abaco Silva, uh, I had a very good meeting with Prime Minister Pedro Passos Coelho. Uh, it was a very constructive meeting and mainly focused on the economic situation in Portugal. I expressed my full support and deep admiration for the efforts Portugal and its citizens are undertaking. The new government and the Prime Minister in particular enjoys a very strong popular mandate for change. Its program of reforms for the next four years goes to the heart of the issues in Portugal. Some of those reforms are unpopular in Portugal and elsewhere. I am fully aware of it, yet they are necessary. And not just for the sake of cutting deficits, but in order to preserve our social models, to be able to guarantee our welfare and jobs for our children. It is to save the welfare state, not to undermine the welfare state. The economic recovery in the Eurozone as a whole is quite good, with forecasts of overall economic growth close to 2% this year and next year. And I know and fully aware of the problems of Portugal, but the growth in the Eurozone will help you to overcome your problems. And let me end by saying once more that to cope with the crisis, this country can build on the strengths it has already shown in good times and in bad times the spirit of entrepreneurship, resilience, and courage. And no doubt, it will be the same again, Mr. Prime Minister and dear friend Pedro. Muito obrigado. Obrigado a todos.